In today's video, we're going to be cracking open this Brick Tactical mystery box. Y'all know Brick Tactical, they're in hundreds of my daily Bricks videos, and he sent me this mystery box for free in exchange for some ad placements. Hey, art of the deal, art of the deal. Please ignore the messiness that's going on here. There, there's a lot going on. I just finished making my purge video over on Daily Bricks. If you want to go watch it, there is a giveaway over there. But there will also be a giveaway for this video, so stay tuned until the end if you want to win, and be sure to check the description for past giveaway winners all yeah, right we're just gonna we're just gonna shove some of this oh goodbye florida man get get out of here <laughs> there's so much garbage around here Alrighty then boys moment of truth voila oh yeah there's a lot of items in here let's get to it okay so a lot of this stuff uh he sent me for future potential videos uh and we've got the weapon here which is i believe cortana from halo which is pretty awesome oh yeah okay that is absolutely bea beautiful baby the blue chick, she might as well be an avatar. We got the UNSC symbol at the top left right there. She's all cyborg-y and stuff like that. I mean, this is pretty baller. I like that a lot. But I am noticing in this mystery box, we also have Master Chef himself, Gordon Ramsay. All right, let's crack open uh, this here Space Marine. Okay, he is looking very beautiful. This is a really nice master chef. Uh, of course, his helmet is not supposed to come off, unlike in the TV show where they ruined him. But he does have a really nice battle rifle right there. Really, really clean, accurate armor. I like this Master Chef a lot. I basically just requested a ton of Star Wars and Halo stuff for Brick Tactical to send me, so I'm glad to see that we got Cortana and Master Chef. I am gonna go ahead and put them uh, back inside of their containers here because I do want to use them for potential future Daily Bricks videos, uh, and it's much cleaner looking if I have them in these versus just out you know what i'm saying it's easier to organize my stuff okay next up actually i want to show off some of this he sent me a bunch of uh free stickers too which is kind of cool i might put these on like my laptop or something but uh first of all just the brick tactical sticker right there uh then we have a uh lego dog from call of duty zombies <laughs> it's actually kind of fire i'm not gonna lie lego lightsaber from brick tactical uh one of the call of duty zombies wonder weapons here uh from brick tactical which is kind of fire oh dang okay he sent a lot of stickers ah, god dang okay uh brick tactical brick tactical <laughs> nuketown that's actually fire i like that a lot and then two more brick tactical stickers my goodness there's even more was he just offloading stickers onto me a plain brick tactical sticker and then max ammo from zombies. Wow, okay, that, that's insane. That's enough stickers. Let's get into one of our little pouches that we've got here. Uh, and it looks like it's full of different sort of Jedi or, or something. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and check these fellas out. So number one, this is looking like a Jedi temple guard, I believe. At least, uh, at least I think that's what it is, but uh, he doesn't have the yellow lightsaber. Uh, looks like we've got a dual lightsaber here with two little mini green blades with it, which is just like, <laughs> it's kind of cute looking. And then his friend here, who also appears to be, I think these are Jedi Temple Guards. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but in a different color pattern. And then uh, we have two more sabers here with hilts, so... Maybe this guy's a, a dual saber fiend. He's got the double blue. Actually, this kind of looks like Darth Vader's saber, but not quite. I, I don't think it actually is. It just kind of looks like it, but it's very clean. And then, oh, the other one is the same saber hilt. So I think, yeah, I think he actually is supposed to be uh, a double lightsaber wielding dude. And then I believe he just sent me some additional saber hilt, uh, not hilts, saber colors as well for uh, additional sabers and stuff like that, because he has, because he has sent me the saber pack in the past, so I do have a ton of lightsaber hilts, so uh, we can fill those up uh, with these bad Larrys. Very cool two Jedis right there. Let's put them back in the bag. And then on top of that, we have a nice little I don't like sand stand. I don't like sand. It's coarse, rough, and irritating, and it gets everywhere. <laughs> 
<laughs> we can embrace our true dark side Anakin and go slaughter some Tusken Raiders, baby. Okay, that first bag was pretty awesome, but I also noticed uh, we've got some additional Lego minifigures here, and this is the Wise Master, which looks to me like it is Mace Windu. <laughs> Except it's Mace Windu in his Clone Wars armor, which is absolutely incredible. I would love to see Lego make this official. This is actually really, really nice looking. Although his sleeves there kind of look like a piano. And then here is the Mace Windu saber, which is obviously very detailed. That looks very nice. Uh, there you go, my friend. You may be on the council, but I do not grant you the rank of master. That, that might not be the exact quote, but you get the gist, you get the gist. Then we've got some more promo material. So uh, this is a Brick Tactical brick here. Uh, it just says Brick Tactical right there. I actually already have a couple of these and it looks like he sent a red one as well. These are kind of fun because they very much so look like a weapons manufacturer or something like that. So in some of my videos, I've gone ahead and like put them as uh, vendor signs and stuff like that outside of shops uh, for like weaponsmiths and stuff like that. You might see them in some of the Daily Bricks videos. Uh, so these are actually kind of cool. I, I like having these around. Oh wait, hold up. We got another sticker. It's a Lego ray gun. That's awesome. And we got another mini figure here, the Galactic Diplomat. So obviously this is Padme Amidala from uh, Attack of the Clones. Oh my god, I, I, I can't get this open. Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, when I was a kid I had a huge crush on Natalie Portman because of this movie uh, and this is obviously extremely detail oriented, very very accurate minifigure right here down to the slashes and cuts from the, it's called like the Petrenki Arena, it's something along those lines. So that's kind of insane, she's also got the E5 blaster rifle and one of my dog's hairs got on it so that's nice too and she got some booba bro what are you talking about man and it looks like he also sent over the dark senator okay this is kind of gas hold on let's go ahead and pop this bad larry out here oh he comes with a cape and a uh, saber and stuff so uh, let me let me real quick go ahead and put le cape on the my mans look at that already fabric capes better than lego <laughs> Because Lego is too cheap to put fabric capes in Lego Star Wars items anymore, and it's just absolutely ridiculous. Now, I mean, other other properties get it. I don't know why they cheap out so much with Star Wars. Maybe the IP is more expensive, but it gets frustrating nowadays. Either way, there we go. The Dark Senator. So this is obviously Palpatine. After Order 66, when he is found out, his grand plan is found out. He's, of course, got the golden lightsaber right there, which looks absolutely sick. Yeah, this, this guy would definitely haunt me in my dreams. I don't think I could ever have him as my Jedi Master. Well, Sith Master. <laughs> Having a look at that frog face? No thank you, but it does make for a really nice looking Lego minifigure. This is solid. Now, I am seeing uh, he did include a few weapons for us too here uh, for the Clone Wars, which is really, really nice. Um, so we have a rocket launcher right there, Z6 rotary cannon, DC-17 with the uh, sniper attachment. It's a commando weapon, so you can take off the sniper attachment um, and just have the regular DC-17, which is this puppy right here. Of course, the classic DC-15A. Uh, we also have some non-Clone Wars weapons, it looks like, like the E-11 Stormtrooper Blaster. Uh, there's another E-5. We saw Padme with one of those earlier. Uh, here's the DC-15C, so the other standard clone trooper weapon. Got Captain Rex's favorite, which is the DC-17 uh, right there. And it looks like everything else is repeats of the other weapon. So that's pretty awesome to see that he sent us uh, some crazy Star Wars blasters and things like that to make some battles with, uh, make, our, make our troopers a little bit more lore accurate versus using the Lego blasters. So uh, that's always really, really nice to see. Thank you, Brick Tactical, for that. Of course, check out BrickTactical.com. I'll be sure to put the link in the description below. But we have a couple more items here. First of all, it looks like there's another one of these Brick Tactical stands, as well as we have another lightsaber sticker, and then a BT Cola sticker. 
I believe this is supposed to be like Nuka-Cola from Fallout, so that's kind of fun. And then the final minifigure that we have in our mystery box here uh, is gonna be, looks like Luminara Unduli, who I believe the actual Lego minifigure of Luminara Unduli is extremely expensive because I think it only came out in like a 2005 set or something like that. Uh, wasn't it like on Kashyyyk, it was a turbo tank? I want to say, I don't, I don't know if that's completely accurate, uh, but here we have the modern brick tactical version of Lumina, Luminala Unduli. I don't know if we'll ever see her again in a LEGO Star Wars set, maybe one day, but I mean, she's a pretty great Jedi Master. I love the arc of her in the second battle of Geonosis, so it's pretty awesome to have her in uh, my LEGO collection now. That is pretty fire, I'm not gonna lie. And that is just about going to do it for that mystery box. We got a lot of items here, and again, uh, I mean, this is a, probably a couple hundred buck mystery box for all these customs that he sent over for free. So thank you so much to Brick Tactical for doing that. Um, I am gonna do some more ad reads and stuff like that for him on Daily Tactics, but I also just love his products, so it is very worth it to me. Either way, why don't we go ahead and get into a quick little giveaway for you guys. First of all, I'm going to give away all of the Brick Tactical stickers that he sent us just because I decided probably you guys uh, would make more use out of them than me because I already have some from him and uh, yeah, figured that would be kind of a fun giveaway. Plus, we're going to be giving away not one, but two 501st LEGO Clone Troopers. Uh, these two guys right here. So all you got to do to enter in to win the giveaway is hit the like button, subscribe with notifications turned on, and comment down below your favorite thing you saw in this video. Either way, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go check out the Purge video over on Daily Bricks, uh, and I'll see y'all in the next Daily Studs video. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.